greeting to all these specter thought is my name is shivam kormesh and we are five members on this group our team members are vijayan verma manmohan prajapati shivam kormesh aman kormanda and balishra ravish kumar we met this project under the guidance of sanjay chalote sir and under the supervision of prem kumar chaurasia sir the title of our project is improvement efficiency of solar panels output voltage next this is index in which we are going to cover the introduction literature review objective effect of temperature on the efficiency of photovoltaic solar panel different techniques that we are use in order to enhance the efficiency experimental study comparison of performance of solar panel at different temperatures and at last result next introduction here i am going to cover the introduction as we all know that the solar panel works on the principle of photovoltaic effect so when solar panel get exposed towards the intense radiation of sunlight it absorbs some of the sunlight in the form of photons in the depletion region lie between the antep and pitter silicon from where the emission of electrons and host takes place toward their respective regions as the process continues concentration of electrons and holes increase in their respective region as the concentration increases an electric field is produced which act as a driving force to lead the electrons in the unidirectional path in the form of electricity it can be easily stored in the batteries so generally if you talk two types of solar panels available in the market monocrystalline and polycrystalline the basic and main difference between the two technologies are mono crystalline solar panels have single cells which are made from single crystal of silicon and if we'll talk about polycrystalline then the polycrystalline solar cells are made from a combination of solar cells which are melted together okay now the next portion is going to cover by my friend vijayan mamma Thank you, Sibam. My name is Bijendra Barma. I will cover literature review and project objective. Literature review, according to David L. King and William E. Wilson, the efficiency of the solar panel is optimum at temperature of 25 degrees Celsius in normal ambient condition. If the panel's temperature increases more than 25 degrees Celsius, it will affect the output voltage. and gradually decreases the efficiency the another review is of zenal erifin they researched that we can cool the solar panel through two process active cooling and passive cooling to enhance the efficiency in active cooling we can use mechanical or electrical devices such as pump and fan in passive cooling it does not require additional power it is natural for example heat sink and heat pipe This is the graph how efficiency is affected by the temperature. This shows how efficiency is more at low temperatures while at high temperatures it decreases. Objective or project objective is to improve the performance of the solar panel because the solar panel is designed to produce the direct current by the radiation but in sunlight along with radiation heat energy is also present and heat up the panel the highest temperature will reach about 85 degrees celsius sometimes these high temperatures damaged the solar cell and decreases the output voltage efficiency through cooling system we overcome the losses due to high temperature effect of temperature on the efficiency of photovoltaic solar panels when the solar panels uh, explode in front of the heat and uh, when they absorb heat they get hot uh, because of high temperature and uh, they are not able to uh, uh, the heat is not able to flow from the uh, solar panel so it get absorbed so because of that this the temperature of the uh, solar panel get increase and it is harmful for the pv panel via which the production of voltage decreases so the overall efficiency decreases of the pv panel 
and for this we have used techniques to enhance the efficiency of the solar panel for which we have used two types of techniques which is uh, active cooling techniques and passive cooling techniques we have used the best way which uh, we can remove the heat from the panel hello sir this is balishwara which this said well i am going to cover the experimental study in this experiment we have taken a solar panel of 20 volt 24 volt and initially tested the performance on pv panel at different temperature without applying the setup we have taken a two readings which is uh, without applying the setups and one is another applying the setups in the below slide there is a list of the instrument and the component we have used that is pv panel copper tube thermocouple voltmeter emitter pyranometer and anemometer if i talk about the work of the anemometer it is used to detect the wind and pyranometer used to detect the radiation of the sol uh, sun or you can say light and if i ta uh, talk about the in next slide there is a designing part we have ta uh, taken some designing uh, designing portion uh, of the copper tube and in below function you can see that function diagram of mode and that is uh, one side is water tank and that is flowing uh, water tank coming uh, water tank water is coming from the tank through the tube towards the copper tube and there you can see the heat removal and heat reduction and radiation of the sun on the copper tube so next slide is going to be taken by the team part thank you okay thank you uh, now i am discuss about the graph and चार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम ये देख रहे हैं कि अगर हम कंप्रेसर करते हैं कि अगर हम वोल्टेज और टेम्परेचर के थ्रू तो हम ये ऑब्जॉर्व कर रहे हैं जब हमने इसमें पानी फ्लो नहीं किया हुआ था तो हम ये देख रहे थे जब इस पर हम दस बारह बजे हम इसे स्टार्ट किए हुए थे तो इसका टेम्परेचर थर्टी टू के आसपास था और सोलर पैनल का इसका थर्टी वन था और उसने वोल्टेज ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स दिया हुआ था जब हमने इसे कंटिन्यू हर दस मिनट पर इसे चेक किया और जब इसका टेम्परेचर बढ़ते हुए दो बजे के आसपास इसका टेम्परेचर थर्टी फोर पॉइंट थ्री हो चुका था उसी टाइम इसका सोलर पैनल का टेम्परेचर सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट एट हो चुका था इसके वजह से ये जो है वन सेवेंटीन पॉइंट एट वोल्ट दे रहा था अगर इसी वजह से हमने एक एक्सपेरिमेंट किया और उसमें हमने ये देखा कि जब हम इसका चार्ट फ्लो शो कर रहे हैं तो इस पर ये ग्रीन वाला जो है ये वोल्टेज का दिखा रहा है और ये सोलर पैनल का दिखा रहा है ब्लू वाला तो हमने इस पर बहुत ही डिफरेंस पाया कि ये जब भी बोल टेम्परेचर बढ़ा है तो इसका वोल्टेज घट रहा है तो इसलिए हमने जब वो वाटर फ्लो का चार्ट इस पर लगाया था तो उसके बाद हमने ये देखा कि इस जब उस पर वाटर फ्लो हमने करवाया तो इसका टेम्परेचर हम कुछ हद तक कंट्रोल कर पा रहे थे जिसकी वजह से हम इसे अप्रॉक्स एक थर्टी फोर के आसपास हम रख पा रहे थे तो हमने ये देखा कि इसका वोल्टेज जो है ये काफ़ी अच्छा दे रहा था और सो, सोलर पैनल का टेम्परेचर उस समय फोर्टी था जब हमने इसे वाटर फ्लो करवाया था तो अगर हम इसका ग्राफ देखें तो इस पर देख सकते हैं ग्रीन ब्लू लाइन जो है ये पैनल के लिए है और ये आओ वोल्टेज के लिए ग्रीन लाइन है तो हम इसमें बहुत अच्छे से देख रहे हैं कि ये जैसे ही टेम्परेचर घट रहा है या फोर्टी के आसपास रह रहा तो ये अच्छा खासा वोल्टेज दे रहा है तो हमने इस पर ये रिजल्ट पाया कि हम इस पर इफिशेंसी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इफिशेंसी हम बढ़ा सकते हैं अगर हमने इस पर वाटर फ्लो करके अगर हम उसके टेम्परेचर को अगर मेंटेन करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो हम इस पर बहुत ही अच्छी तरह का प्रोडक्शन हम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट कर सकते